Film Company, Part 1. Produced and presented by Charles Savell, Director, CSS Multimedia. Interested in the film and connected moving image business sector, such as television, broadcast and other media distribution channels? This module will be followed by the establishing a moving images content development company for all platforms. Charles Savelle's experience includes development of content for theatrical distribution, broadcast television and digital platform distribution. Over 20 years Hollywood veteran with a large studio and independent production and distribution experience. Setting up a film company or evolving the film company can take on many different configurations, depending on the resources available and strategic objectives. We will now consider some of the financial decisions based on company scalability objectives and other internal company structure choices we need to evaluate before setting up a film company. Building a team of experts and the formation of the legal entity under which you operate are the first considerations. A legal entity of incorporating or a limited company will require both legal and accounting compliance considerations. Location of the principals or owners, where is the main office or headquarters, and which countries are the main principals based. The jurisdiction for both legal and tax accounting reporting need to be considered. Incorporating or limited company have accounting, tax, and legal compliance and reporting considerations, and we will need the professional assistance of professional legal and accounting services. This is not a self-service step you should do on your own on the internet to avoid future compliance issues. A sole proprietorship is a prudent step if you are an individual testing the waters about the traction of your entry into creating a film company. This is a low-cost entry-level platform for doing business. The caveats are low legal protection if there's a legal action against you and your personal assets are at risk. There are also a credibility issues for those investigating you and your company. Having said that, you need to start somewhere. As you grow your business and start to gain clients and financial exposure, then you should consider a legal entity for your business. The company should have a focus or specialization, or the sector will create one for you. For example, if you start out producing animation series or films for a certain age demographic, say children animation for under seven years old, then it would be difficult to be taken seriously by action or other genre distributors or financiers. You need to maintain a specialty and a track record and not be the jack of all trades, or in this case, the jack of all genres. The business plan is a critical document and a roadmap for the owners, investors, and other stakeholders. The business plan will evolve over time. However, a clear vision and mission statement as well as an executive summary distinguishes your company from other companies. If you are not unique, then reconsider this journey. We have created a separate module on developing a business plan and can also provide bespoke services of reviewing business plans. Financing is critical to the sustainability and viability of a film company. Initially, this will depend on the resources to maintain the company without revenue, covering your overhead and pre-development funding, legal and accounting services, IP development and licensing, office space costs and staff salaries need to be considered in the early stages and need to be clearly laid out in the business plan. Sweat equity and principal resources usually what funds these early stage ventures. A caveat of do not put yourself in any unwanted personal financial risk for unknown dreams if you are not prepared to take a loss. The next step is building a team of experts, and this is critical in developing an A-team, is what can make or break a film company. Having Steven Spielberg on your team will raise the chances of raising financing and resources for your company. Celebrity or A-list film industry partners add credibility to your company. Individual CVs of your partners that include a track record of success in the film industry creates credibility for your film company. This should not preclude you from developing your ideas or developing a film company. 
However, the film industry and the audiences are sensitive and require bespoke content on the new evolving social media platforms. Likewise, it is deceivingly easy to evolve without credibility and universal recognition. At the end of the day, quality and value-based content and expertise is based on a team of experts. The chief executive officer or the leader is the front-facing voice and vision of the company. Also it could be a partnership or more than one head of company with a common goal and vision for the company. The internal finance department manages the expenses and revenue of the company, as well as the internal financial management of salaries and compliance. For a company starting out, this is an expensive option as there are salaries and costs involved. Depending on resources and the stage of the company development, it may be recommended to outsource the finance and accounting to an accounting firm or specialist firm that deals in film companies. Outsourced accounting firms is a prudent and common approach and keeps an arm's length view in management of the finances and accounts of the film company. This separation of expertise from the executive branch of the film company is a very wise decision and highly recommended throughout the life of a film company. The sales department is a critical part of the company at the early stages. Attending industry trade shows like the Cannes Film Festival are a quick and easy way in making your company visible in front of distributors, acquisition executives and other potential clients. The sales department can get to work early in on the process of gathering interest in clients. The questions of whether the sales team should be salaried or working on commission or both will depend on resources available. The principals may take on this role initially to cut down on costs and expenses of traveling and attending film festivals. We need to be clear about the difference between a sales team and a marketing team. Sales and marketing functions are commonly thought to be interchangeable, merged and misunderstood. Marketing is a strategic role that works closely with the executive and other divisions of the organization in defining the mission and value objectives of the organization in a consistent message to all stakeholders. Sales functions are client and customer facing, implementing these consistent messages and values to the customers, engaging two-way conversations with potential and existing clients and converting these messages into sales and revenue for the company. When setting up a film company and understanding the important role of the marketing and sales take place in the front lines of this business, the question remains, do we fund the cost of internal marketing and sales in-house, including all normal running expenses such as full-time salaries, or do we outsource this to specialist sales and marketing agencies? This decision will depend on resources available and scalability objectives. When setting up a film company and understanding the important role of the legal matters in film business, we should never underestimate the role of legal compliance and try to cut corners. Ineffective and insufficient legal advice will create long-term damages for the film company. Caveat, do not try to do this on your own by using online templates. Due to the complexity of the legal issues involved in film production, varied moving parts, contracts and the complexity of intellectual property rights, you need experienced professionals on your team from day one. There's both a defensive and offensive role of legal. Lawyers need to guide legal compliance of the film company, domestic and international, intellectual property protection against copyright violations, contracts, agreements with stakeholders, and offensive and defensive legal issues, etc. need to be considered. When setting up a film company and understanding the important role of the legal matters in the front lines of this business, the question remains, do we fund the cost of internal legal departments in-house, including all normal running expenses, such as full-time salaries, or do we outsource this to specialist law firms? This decision will depend on resources available and scalability objectives. Legal experts also need experience on licensing of your intellectual property. When setting up a film company, the question remains, do we fund the costs of internal licensing expertise in-house, 
including all normal running expenses, such as full-time salaries, or do we outsource this to specialist licensing law firms? Most specialist film law firms will have these expertise. This decision will depend on resources available and scalability objectives. Studio and creative team. We sometimes forget that the studio creative team is what the film industry is all about, and we get lost in the financial or business angle of film production. My background working in the entertainment industry for over 20 years, I understand that there's a balancing act that needs to take place where the legal and finance department should not stifle the creativity of the studio creative team. On the other hand, we need to keep in mind that creating a film company is a business and we need to be aware of costs and expenses to maintain a sustainable film company. In my 20 years experience, 90% of businesses fail because of not understanding the financial legal compliance balancing and the long-term implications of building a sustainable film business. The decision to finance and invest in a studio creative team is capital and labor intensive and will depend on the resources available and the scalability needs and demands. An executive producer is a critical part of a film's vision and financial objectives. When setting up a film company, the question remains, do we fund the cost of an executive producer in the house? including all normal running expenses, such as full-time salaries, or do we outsource an executive producer on a freelance contract? This decision will depend on resources available and scalability objectives. Executive producer outsource would be less financially risky. A scriptwriter is a critical part of a film's vision. When setting up a film company, the question remains, do we fund the cost of an in-house scriptwriter, including all normal running costs, such as full-time salaries, or do we outsource a scriptwriter on a freelance contract? This decision will depend on resources available and scalability objectives. Scriptwriter outsourced would be less financially risky. Graphic artists' advertising expertise is a critical part of a film's vision. When setting up a film company, the question remains, do we fund the cost of an in-house graphic artist or advertising department, including all normal running expenses, such as full-time salaries, or do we outsource graphic arts and advertising on a freelance contract? This decision will depend on resources available and scalability objectives. Again, graphic artist and advertising outsource would be far less financially risky for a company. Post-production is a critical part of a film's end result. When setting up a film company, the question remains, do we fund the cost of post-production, including all normal running expenses such as full-time salaries and equipment costs, or do we outsource uh, post-production on a freelance contract? This decision will depend on resources available and scalability objectives. Outsourcing post-production and related costs, including very high capital intensive costs of equipment, um, would be less financially risky for the company. Talent scouts are an important part of the initial film development and celebrity value of a film. When setting up a film company, the question remains, do we fund the cost of talent scouts, including all normal expenses, or do we outsource a talent scout under a freelance contract? This decision will depend on resources available and scalability objectives. Talent scout or outsourced would be less financially risky for the company. In summary, this presentation on the considerations we need to make in setting up a sustainable film company, I have touched on some of the key considerations. There are other factors to consider as there is more than one way to configure the scalability of a film company. The one most important learning outcome is to balance the financial and legal compliance factors without stifling creativity. This mind map flowchart is an overall view of what was covered in this presentation. Further bespoke configurations will be available in future modules.